And we are live on this Sunday evening. It's getting very dark here right now at my place. I wanted to go to sleep, but decided to make a video of our favorite sector of all, uranium. At least that's mine. As always, do your own due diligence, and uh, this is not financial advice. But today I want to look at uranium, the market, looking at only the weekly, and to see only look at the upside here to see how explosive it actually looks if we can get to the next leg up right here right now so i uh, have some some great charts i think you can, you can really see how squeezed everything is and if we can gain some momentum we don't need like 10% 20% from here like only 5% could do it in some cases so let's have a look at the charts man but first please follow me on twitter as always and like and subscribe on youtube comments below what do you think does it look good Let's uh, let's have a look. See, okay, I have something messed up here. One second, and we are back. S -s Sorry for that. Okay, let's have a look at it. Okay, we're looking at the weekly only, with the thirty weekly moving average, with uh, which is often used as you know the stage decider of in stage one, two, three, four depending on where we are regarding to the 30 weekly. And you can see the 30 weekly I have marked in, in purple here. So keep uh, keep that in mind, the 30 weekly. I don't use it for trading, but it's a good indicator for long-term trends. The 30 weekly moving average, you should use that. It's, it's quite good. Okay, as I remember, we're only looking at the weekly charts right now and, and uh, to see how explosive it actually looks on most of the charts. Some of them are not look, looking that good, but anyways. Also remember, we are on the log scale, as you can see. Good, this is mega uranium. And you can clearly see here a very big squeeze coming in. You have the, the, the one low here, the second low, the third low, and I fucked it up, Jesus, excuse me. So we have three lows right now, and if we break to the upside here, you can see how far we can go. This is a long-term break. And then we will head into the uh, this resistance right here. But as you can see, going to the upside, the move will be very big, very very big. Laramid, laramide, laramid, whatever you want to call it, doesn't matter. Same thing. You can see here coming across again, one big squeeze, going back two years. So, could this be the end? As you can also see, we are sitting right here at the 30 weekly moving average we really want to break that resistance and the blue trend line which should be orange or golden but anyway so we can just be sure the golden trend line here so once we break this resistance here at 0 0.44 man that's just, why does it do that i don't know anyway sorry for that but, but if we can break that to the upside here, one big squeeze, a two long year long squeeze, we are going to take out these highs here, in my view. Okay, something is messed up. Anyways, I will try to avoid doing that. Okay. Looking absolutely amazing if we can break up here. Um, amazing, really, it really is. Goviax, GXU, um, looking uh, I mean, it's all, all the way back here to the 2020, uh, start of 2020, where the bull market began. Absolutely insane values. But anyways, you can clearly see the squeeze again here. We are a tad below the 30 weekly. But still, if we hold here and we start to curl up again, it is very explosive. Also, I will, if you look at the, the GoVX divided by the uranium spot price, um, you will have a very clear picture of, of where why I think we have a bottom. Remember to have it on log scale, by the way. So this is also, again, looking insanely explosive. Again, I'm not saying that we're going higher from here. I'm just saying it looks very explosive, but we still have some work to do. But uh, but again, getting in here at these levels is, uh, is a no-brainer in my view. Global Atomic doesn't look as good as the others, but still... Uh, we have a possibly a fake out here to the downside, and the squeeze is not that bullish. Um, but still, you can see the move here. And if we are to get, 
you know, to go higher, the move will be a lot higher from here. So, so, so global atomic still looks very good. Um, but still, we need to to get at least above the the thirty week link in some momentum, uh, because it it can go south quite quickly. Find still again one big squeeze here, and if we can, you know, get above the um, the thirty weekly again, the, the charts are the same all the way around. It looks very explosive, but we cannot celebrate until we actually break out. But still, getting above here, I mean, then we will grind our way higher to to these highs here, in my view. It just looks so bullish. And right now we are at 0. Point, let's call it 0. 0.4. And we only need to go to like 0. 0.44, so like 10% from here, for this to really, really get going to the upside. This is Encore Energy. Actually looks better. It has broken out. Very good. All the way up to these highs here. And now we're retesting the 30 weekly and the breakout trend line, the golden trend line. And if we confirm the bottom here and curl higher, then in very often, and you're getting above, of course, then you have a stage two confirmation breakout. So this looks insanely good, no matter how, how you view it. Um, still, we could be in a, we could be in a bear flag. So be careful, but still, we're only looking at the upside in this video. So explosive still. One of the bigger ones, energy fuels, again, one big squeeze. We're going to decide soon which way we go, but if we break to the upside, then we are going much, much higher. And my target would be, if it really gets going, what? There's something wrong. Anyways, the 80. So, so that's 10x from here, if we can get that. Yes, a 10x. You heard me. So, again, one big squeeze. Wait for the confirmation, but it looks... Good. So often, you know, we have the uptrend, pause, and then we continue higher. That's the highest probability. Dennis and Mines, also a bigger one. I mean, the charts are the same all over the place, but still, I mean, we don't need much to the upside to really get things going. This is at 1.7, and if we get to like 1, let's call it 1, 1.9, so like 10% from here again, man, it's breakout time. It really looks good. Can Alaska, not the best looking chart, but still, you could argue that we have some sort of bottom here, but we still need to uh, to get above here in this zone before we can look at any more upside. Uh, this has a bit more pressure to the downside, but still, if we can make it to uh, back above the 30 weekly, we have a chance to, to, to take out the 2016 highs here. Obviously, we have this resistance here first, but still, it looks good. Still not as good as, as the other ones, I have to say, but um, but yeah. Oh, and then we have the blue chip, the major blue chip. Let's zoom out here a bit just for, for visuals. Big breakout, 15-year-long breakout we are having here. And what are we doing now? We are breaking out, retesting, and we have presumption from last week. So if this gets confirmed, that this right here holds, then it will drag every other smaller junior exploration company with it. So this week and next week, I am especially July, I'm very excited to see what happens here in July. It could be the big one. It really could be. Um, oh, yeah. So Cameco is taking the lead. That's what we want to see. Okay, UEC is also a, a big one. Um, the lows held here. We're still in the wedge, and we're now at the upper side of the wedge here. So we, we really want to break out to the upside. And then if we get to the blue coming across here, then I think we'll get a bounce back and then resumption. So then we have the inverted head and shoulders. So still looking very good. Uh, I think if you go to the daily on the RSI, we are a bit overbought. So maybe we have a pause or we just... Uh, have a pullback of some kind, but still, this looks very good, very strong momentum here for UEC, and still one big squeeze. But again, we have to make a higher high. You can see higher high, higher high, and then lower high, lower high. So we need to make a, a higher high at some point here. But still, if we can break out, looks looks good, looks good. 
the Paladin, PDN, also one of the favorites. Still, just look at this move here, man. It's just insane. One big, only one way, right? From the lows to the highs into a big, a big long bull flag. It looks good. Let's zoom out. Just look at it. I mean, it looks insanely good, right? Pole. Yes, you can see you have the pole and you have a flag. And if, if this is textbook, you go, you can see it right there. I think if, if I were to measure the move, I would say we are pointing towards the highs here. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, doesn't matter. We can do it anytime. Let's see where we go. If this is the break, uh, uh, we actually go a bit higher. Okay, okay, but still. I like it. It looks very good if we can get the breakout. And we are getting the breakout, if it were to me. It looks really good. It really does. Where are we compared to the 30 weekly? Yes, we are breaking out of the 30 weekly and then back testing it and hopefully we get get the presumption here today and we have you know three lower lows in the flag i like it i like it a lot actually ban and ran still ah, i love it this is good i really enjoy watching a chart like this so ever since the peak right all the way down one low lower low third low so three impulses down you get them to the upside as well and we have a breakout. I mean, just look at it. It's stunning. So we have the breakout of the 30 weekly and the golden trend line. And what do we have? A retest. And if this is textbook, we are going to launch from here. Right here. I love it. Elevate, also a... It has <laughs> made some huge gains. Still, looking at it again, I mean, they are all quite similar, all the charts all over. We are looking at URNM at the end. We have a low, 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 a third low. As you can see, the Elliott wave count looks good. And if you can break again above the golden and the third weekly, looks similar to all the other charts I know. But hey, man, it looks... Let's get some hype in the chat, if you can say that, or in the comments below, because we have to acknowledge it uh, acknowledge it, uh, for what it is. This... No matter what sex you're looking at, if it's Bitcoin, gold, silk, whatever, is a very, very bold setup. It doesn't mean that you have it 100% of the time going higher, but the probabilities, in my view, are very much to the upside. Looking at this purely from a technical basis, looks really good. And probably the most favorite of all, the F3 uranium or FUU. Again, Long term, you can see here the breakout, and we are flagging above. We are flagging above the breakout into a retest of the breakout. Breakout again, retest break. I mean, the technicals look pretty damn good. Also, again, you have it. You can see it here. Let me show you low, a lower low, and the third impulse low in the consolidation or the wedge, whatever you want to call it. Breakout resumption. It looks good. Okay, last one, URNM. And this is the final confirmation you will get. And I think when we will get above, as you know, the $36 level, when we break out on the URNM, that's exactly where you will see all the other wedges that we have looked at, the bullish wedges, the flags, whatever. They will break out at exactly that point in time. And it looks really good. We had a, we can actually do it like that. It actually connects the highs better, but then we almost hit here, but it doesn't matter. We are testing the golden trend line all the way back to the 30 weekly. And hopefully we will do like this for July. So getting above 36 on URNM will confirm everything that we have looked at to the upside. So yeah, 36, man. Do you think we will get above 36 in July? I mean, the probability probabilities in my view are definitely pointing to that direction um so yeah but keep in mind it's it's all one big probability game and this to me has the highest probability to go higher um until proven otherwise this is bullish all over and uh, and yeah hopefully the overall if there is an overall market crash or not crash but correction in in the in the tech sector and so on it will not pull the uranium, uh, the uranium sector down, it probably will, but we'll have to wait and see. But for now, 
it looks pretty damn good. Okay, that was my Sunday evening uh, video for you guys. I hope you like it. Uh, do you agree? Post below. Uh, if you don't agree, post below. And uh, we will see you on Twitter for the next week and here on YouTube. Cheers.